Diego, player of the year tonight, how do you feel about that? Um, it's amazing. I mean, the boys, everyone, I really didn't expect it. Um, it came to a surprise and to think I've only played 20 odd games and to receive this award, I mean, a massive thank you to everyone who's helped me and to the fans for voting. I mean, they mentioned it at the, at the award, 4,500 fans voted. And it's a lot closer than most years, but I guess that shows the, uh, the impact you've had on the side this year. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I didn't expect to even be involved when I made my debut. I didn't know I wasn't expecting it a week, couple of weeks before, but um, I had my chance. And I mean, everyone around me has helped me, all the staff, um, the players, the fans have pushed me on. And I think everything together has helped me do what I was able to do in the end and win it. You talk about not expecting it this year. I mean, if you remember your debut at Oxford in the uh, FA Cup, we brought you out after that game for the talk to the media, and they're all asking you about, you know, you didn't play for England, you didn't play for Spain, you didn't play for Uruguay. You know, they're sort of just thinking to the future. And now, less than four months later, you know, you're actually possibly looking at, you know, in under 21 maybe or something like that. Honours. It's been a, it must be a really whirlwind four months for yourself. Yeah, I mean, best four months of my life. I've got to say, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, the best four months of my life. It came from making a substitute appearance in the FA Cup to playing most games from then towards the end of the season. And like I said, it's, it's unbelievable. It's a great club to be at. And if you're a youngster, I mean, it's a great place to be. I mean, we've had a lot of um, youth players come through and some of them starting week in, week out. So it shows that, um, that it's a good bond as well between the players and they let you in and they let you feel part of the group straight away as soon as you start training, even training with them. I, mean, I guess some young players, if you come to the side in February, you know, it's because you're safe in the league and it's nothing much to play for. Yourself, you came in almost bottom of the league and it, it's uh, quite a, a brutal introduction to senior football in a way, but you must have learned so much from these past few months. I've learned a lot. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed having that um, bit of added pressure every game. I'd rather that than maybe being mid-table with nothing to play for. I mean, every game was massive for us and I think it was incredible from all the boys that we achieved it. Jose coming in, um, Chris Powell before as well, everyone together. I mean, it's a great achievement and we should push on and try even better for next season. And uh, we mentioned to the other lads, but you're one of five players this year who have made their debuts, who learned their trade in the Charlton Academy with uh, Harry, Morgan, Joe and jo uh, who else? Jordan. Yeah, Morgan, Jordan and Morgan. So five young players. It's uh, quite the year for the young players at the club. Like I said, it's the place to be. If um, you might... My young players everywhere, every club, they're frustrated. They think, oh, I should be in, I should be out. If you've got to wait, wait, be ready. When your time comes, make sure you're ready, make sure you're fit and take your chance. And at this club, it certainly happens. Like we showed, you said today, five players this season. So, and they've all done incredibly well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you've won the top award tonight, but every one of those five has made their contribution in their own way, haven't they, this season? Yeah, yeah, no, every single one. Even the ones that have been travelling, everyone's been unbelievable. Um, the squad, the squad's together. It's been together since even when Chris Bauer left, everyone was a bit down and Jacko the skip, he was um, he got us all together and he said, Look, we're doing it for us, we're doing it for Chris, we're doing it for Jose, we're doing it for whoever, but we're doing it for us and for the fans and we're able to do it in the end and keep the club up. And finally, Diego, um, as an Academy graduate, you must have answered this a few times over your course of your career, but Valley Gold, I mean, they organised tonight, they've helped fund the Academy. How important are they to the club? It's massive. I mean, five five players this season. That's nearly half half a team that's starting on the pitch on a Saturday. So it's great. I mean, the coaches at the academy do a great job as well with the facilities that we have. And um, I mean, push on. I mean, thank you. A massive thank you to everyone who contributes in Valley Gold. And hopefully, in the future, we can bring in more players to play in the first team.